Well, Charlie, it looks like tonight we have another great bottle in a very nice package. Absolutely, man. We're going to be opening up the Jack Daniels Sinatra, uh, a bottle I'm really excited about and have waited a long time to try. Hi, welcome back to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. So four years and counting, I finally got my first box of Jack Daniels Sinatra. Um, this is a special edition Jack they do. Uh, I've not seen it in the market here in a long time, um, and I've tried a, a long time to get one. But finally showed up this week. Thank you all know my good friend, Mr. Don Williams, the bourbon fool. Don, a little Sinatra today, huh? A little Sinatra. And yeah. we're not even in New York, New York. Uh, exactly. Yeah, start spreading the news. I, you know, we... We, it, it's like we're strangers in the night. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop right there. All right, so we're gonna, we got a bottle of Sinatra, Jack Daniels. So, uh, Don, what makes it a special bottle of, what makes Sinatra Jack Daniels? Well, first of all, Frank Sinatra started drinking Jack in the 1940s. Uh, story has it that he was sitting in a bar. Bartender said, here, this is going to, you know, make you feel better. And he's been a, you know, a fan of Jack ever since. He traveled on tour with Jack Daniels by the caseload and even was buried with a bottle of Jack at no his kidding. funeral. Wow. Yeah, so that's dedication. So Yeah. Uh, They're paying him back. They're dedicated to him, huh? The, yeah. The, so the answer to your story is the interior of the barrels of Sinatra Jack are they had cut additional grooves into the staves to give the whiskey more contact with more oak. Okay, all right. And that is the secret behind Jack Daniel's Sinatra. Do we know anything about aging or how long or? You know, they don't really talk about it too much. Okay. You know, it, yeah. it, the idea is all about the additional cut grooves that gives it a smoother, more vanilla type finish. All right, I'm looking forward to it. So look at this packaging, man. Uh, you guys all see that? Comes in this great box. I bet it even opens. Oh, open the wrong side. There we go. Ta da! Look at that. There you go. So it's a liter bottle. First thing you know, this is oh. a big bottle. It comes in a big bottle. Um, also comes with a little book that tells you all about Jack Daniels and Sinatra. Awesome. So it comes with the packaging. And then the bottle itself is, you know, a takeoff on a Jack Daniels bottle, but it's just a, a little classier. So, Boy, that is a magnificent looking bottle. That's a great looking bottle right there. So yeah, and it's got guy's little hat on it. So, uh, but there it is, Sinatra. Um, what's the proof? It's just, it's still 90 proof. Okay. Yep. So that doesn't really change much. But um, there it is. Let's open it up, man. I think. What I else you got for me on this? I can't wait to try it. I know. Uh, so I I ran across a Frank Sinatra joke. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Okay. All right. So. Uh, what did Frank Sinatra do to punish his kids? I don't know. What did he do, Don? No ice in their drinks. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. So, you know, we've done quite a few of these Jack Daniel things lately, and they've all, all been pretty tasty, right? Yeah. So, I got some high Cheers. expectations here, my friend. Cheers. Let's see what we got. Right off the right off the top, it's creamy mm -hmm. and it tastes like vanilla wafers. Yeah, yeah, very vanilla. And once again, like the other things we've tasted lately, not a lot of that what you call that Jack flavor, you know? Right. It's not, right. Like if I didn't know what the bottle was, I might not know that it's Jack. It's yeah. Boy, I'm gonna tell you, I thought the last couple of Jack special editions we tried were great this is pretty special this is really nice very nice yeah they've done a fantastic job with this wow so do you know did they actually make this for him or is this something that was done after he had passed you know i'm not a hundred percent sure 
Um, I believe it's a dedication to him after he passed. Okay. I think he drank traditional Jack. Daniels. Regular old Jack, yeah, right. right. Um, because I think the timing doesn't fit. Like, I, yeah. by the time they started introducing it, okay, I could be wrong. But Just curious. Well, someone will write in and tell us if you're wrong, so we right. don't have to worry about that. That's a good thing about the internet. They will. Yeah. They won't tell you if you're right, but they'll tell you if you're wrong. Well, <laughs> hey, Charlie, this is a fantastic bottle. This is a great bottle. Finally, available at Charlie's Still on Main after four years and one month. I, I'm going to go way out on a limb and say this is the best Jack Daniels I've ever had. Wow, dude. That's that's going out there, but I, I, I can't argue with you. That's probably why uh, Frank called it the nectar of the gods, huh? The nectar of the gods. There's no doubt about it. Imagine if he'd had this, though. But he, So... You know how he liked to drink it? He liked to drink it. Two fingers, three cubes, and a splash of water. Yeah? Yep. That's yeah. how he liked to drink it. Uh, but that is really, really good. It's a very nice pour of whiskey, folks. Uh, Th this is one of those that uh, I'm going to actually come in here and order. There you go. That's yeah. how good it is. That, that, well, right there. That Now, that is a vote from the bourbon fool. If he's going to come in and buy one. That's so, right. Yeah. Well, cheers, my friend. Thank cheers. you so much. You guys come on in and try one, too. Maybe you'll be sitting beside Don. Who knows? Thank you. And you can tell him he's wrong about the whole Jack thing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>